Check out my new online store if you want to buy prints, posters, shirts, and more. Hey guys, so today I'm doing something a little bit different in my video. I'm drawing uh, Kyler Murray from the Arizona Cardinals. But the thing that I'm doing different in this video is I'm drawing him in four different styles. So the first style I'm drawing here is uh, just my regular uh, comic book style that I've been drawing on my channel, uh, which is just kind of a combination of, uh, you know, thick black lines, um, some hatching, some cross hatching, uh, some coloring that uh, is, you know, a little bit of blending, but sometimes there's some harsh lines. And uh, yeah, it's just sort of the comic book style that I've been using in this channel. This is kind of my own style, a combination of various other styles that I've seen out there that I like. So that's what the first drawing is here. And uh, I'm just drawing Kyler Murray here. <clears throat> and one thing that I try to do in this style is try to have dynamic poses. Um, you know, I normally use a, a reference photo when I'm drawing these images but I try to enhance it a little bit. You know, I don't try to just copy the photo exactly as I see it. You know, I try to make the pose a little bit more dynamic, uh, you know, try to make the movement uh, a little bit more dynamic. Uh, as you can see, like the towel that he's got, you know, that's not what the towel looks like in real life. I try to make the, the towel sort of flapping in the breeze like it's a little miniature cape or something. So, uh, you know, that's just some advice if you're out uh, drawing, you know, don't be afraid to uh, enhance uh, the reference images that you're using. You know, that's kind of one of the, the beauties of art, especially comic book style, is you can make it extreme. You know, you don't have to copy exactly what you're drawing. You can enhance it and make it better. And the second style that I'm drawing is a traditional comic book style. And what I mean by that is I'm drawing it as if I was, um, you know, an inker drawing for a comic book. And it's just going to be black and white. It's just, uh, you know, ink on the page. And, uh, you know, the difference between this style and my style, even though they're both kind of comic book styles, is, uh, you know, my style... I sort of let the, uh, I leave the, the shapes wide open so that the color can be the emphasis. Um, you know, I have a little bit of hatching here and there for some subtle shadows, but I really do most of the shadowing through the colors, through the markers. Whereas uh, in this comic book style, um, you know, there's gonna be some areas where there's a shadow that's just completely filled in black. And because I'm not adding color, um, you know, the, all the shadows, and uh, the gradations of value is gonna be achieved through the ink itself. And, um, you know, there'll be, hatching will be less of an emphasis, be more emphasis on big shapes and big areas of flat color.
Now the third style that I'm gonna be doing is cell shading. Now uh, cell shading is basically uh, the opposite of cross hatching. It's where, you know, there's no hatching or cross hatching at all. And um, you know, this one I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of bold outlines and then all of the shading, it's uh, cell shading just means that the shading is very harsh. You know, there's no gradations, there's no hatching, there's no gradients. It's all just harsh lines, you know, flat, one flat color next to another flat color. So when you do the shadows, you know, it's just going to be hard shapes and flat colors. And, um, you know, that's a style that's related to comic book, but I definitely like it a lot. It's really cool. Um, you know, it's a style you might see in older video games back when they only had uh, so much computing power that they couldn't they couldn't handle uh, gradients. Like I'm talking old games like uh, some of the original, you know, Marvel versus Capcom. Uh, they use cell shading there. So I think it's a style that I really like. I've always thought that it looked really cool, and you know, just want this was a good excuse to explore that style and see what I could do. For my final style, I'm doing realism or realistic style. And this was quite a challenge um, to try and draw something as realistic as I could. And um, definitely uh, pushed my skills to their limits here and and forced me to you know do something that I haven't done in forever. Um, you know, I did study art in high school and college and uh, drew realism there, but I mean, that was uh, over 10 years ago, so haven't done anything like this in a long time. Um, let me know how, how it turned out. I think there's some areas that turned out pretty good, other areas uh, not so much, but um, I think overall I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out considering I haven't done it in a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, realism is it's pretty simple. You're just trying to make it look like a photograph. Um, and I used, uh, I put markers down as a base but then I used colored pencils on top of the markers to get the subtle tones and the gradation of values that you see in real life. And um, yeah, just let me know uh, how it turned out, what you guys think of this. Um, you know, this video took forever to make and I haven't released a video in a while. And uh, one of the reasons I've been working on this for a couple of weeks now. So uh, if you made it this far in the video and you know, you like what you see, definitely uh, subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. I'd appreciate that. And um, leave a comment on uh, which style is your favorite, which one you like the best. And uh, if there's a sp specific style that you like uh, more than the others and you want me to kind of explore that more and do more drawings like that, yeah, definitely uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If there's another style out there that I didn't include that you'd, you'd like to see me draw, you know, football player or other athletes or someone in that style let me know I'm all ears for that um, but yeah I mean definitely enjoy this video but like I said it uh, took a lot longer than uh, my normal videos so I'd really appreciate 
if you uh, you know share it to your friends or subscribe whatever whatever works for you there but uh you know hope hope you enjoy it and uh just enjoy the rest of the video